Hi, I'm Bridget from Life From The Ground Up and welcome to my channel. Here is my week ahead for the week 29th of August through to the 4th of September. So this week we have the Sun in Virgo, so there's a very, very analysing uh, overtone this week. We're looking at things in a discriminating manner and we are trying to get the, all the details down pat. Right, so we start the week with a Virgo moon as well on Monday. Now all week we have this Sun square Mars aspect that's just overlaying this tension that we're feeling. Now in the pa past couple of weeks we've had quite a few boxed in type uh, aspects where we've been feeling very claustrophobic if you can or just sort of uh, constrained by the energy that is going on around us feeling very like Ugh. So now today there are the possibility of some real truths coming up and some adjustments needed to life because of these new understandings that you have. Now with Mercury in, Lib in Libra, I feel like there definitely needs to be a has everybody had their say type of thing. You know, we're looking for diplomacy, we're looking for equality and we're looking for all of the details. We need to see both sides of the story so that we can make these adjustments to our future endeavours. So now there's a lot of other things um, that are going on, obviously, but this week just gives us this this we, you know, there's the me and you vibe with the Libra moon and then we go into the Scorpio moon where we're going to be diving down into some uncomfortable feelings and these need to be felt because, you know, um, how do you know which way you want to go unless you can let go of the things that are holding you back now. So be honest in your conversations with people. Don't hide your reality. You know, I feel like there's, you know, there's a lot of people that are getting out of these boxed in situations because they've made decisive decisions that their future is worthy of them being at their best and them detaching themselves from positive, oh, sorry, from negative situations so that they can move forward positively. Now, you know, Venus in Leo is a fierce queen right now and she's very serious about the relationships that she is looking at and the adjustments that she's making are going to be grand and long lasting. All right. So if you do feel trapped, stand up, have a deep breath and see if any of the of the situations that you are in are patterns or reoccurring things that you're unconsciously acting out. So, you know, the old foundations that you have built your life on are crumbling. And so what is required now are these minor course adjustments. You know, they could be, if you have planets at the degrees that, you know, the, the triple conjunction in Taurus we just had was at 18 degrees. If you've got planets in that 18 degree of fixed signs, then you're actually going through more of an earthquake induced type of feeling rather than a minor course adjustments. But, you know, this, this is your new path that you are on. And, you know, great change is often not comfortable, but necessary. And how many times have you had great change in your life? And here you are, you survived just like childbirth you forget the pain you are in at the moment but you rejoice when you have the new baby or the new life or the new thing in your arms okay so what we're looking for now is the bigger picture you need to express yourself calmly okay because you know in certain situations you may have old energies poking the bear to make you look like an irrational person or to make you feel less than because you have had enough now and you are voicing your opinion. Do not let that satin energy tell you that you cannot do, you cannot be the fierce queen that you are. Okay, so um, push limits, but also stay calm within yourself. All right, now there on Thursday, we are going to go into the Scorpio moon. So we're going to go down a little bit deep into our souls. We're probably going to be, you know, looking at past hurts and situations. And hopefully with the Virgo sun, you can detach yourself enough to analyze the situation and have a broader picture perspective of what has been your past. Okay. So, like I said, Thursday, there's a couple of yods, 
which are the fingers of God. They are just, you know, it's the universe pointing you in that direction. You know, so we have the moon and Venus as those two that I've seen. And so between 11 and 8 on Thursday, I feel like there could be some, you know, pointy, pokey type situations. But, you know, you know that you're on a mission. You know that you have a task. The universe is pushing you to break free of these constraints. All right. So challenge and irritability. And it's just an indicator that these are things or the places that you don't want to be. All right. So I wrote down just in here. Yes, I am being emotional, but I am also rational and it is my truth. All right. So if someone is telling you that your opinion is not valid, then Mm -mm, mm -mm. Venus and Leo says my opinion is entirely valid because it is my life and my opinion and you know these authority figures or Saturn in energies over there that are trying to block your hopes dreams and path forward no no they just don't get to do that okay you have this guiding light within you and this week I hope that you know you can feel that warmth inside you starting to build you know your confidence is coming back your ability to know what you are doing with your life hopefully at the end of this week will be front and center in your mind so friday looks like it still might be a little bit ouchy all right so we've still got these frustrating blocks um, don't fall into old patterns of behavior. So th this is that challenge that I, I still feel that, you know, old habits die hard. They don't want to be got rid of. All right. So, you know, just making steady progress as you can minute by minute, hour by hour, you know, seek counsel from close friends or guidance or counselors if you need, if you need outside help, to deal with a situation that won't just let go, then do that. All right. Don't, don't sit in a place where you feel less than because that's just not right now. Okay. All right. We are, you are making steady progress. And also there is this financial feeling of the week too. If you are trying to disengage your finances from someone else and they are saying no, then seek outside counsel because you know, like I said, those old habits don't want to be changed. All right. So out of my hands is maybe a statement that you can make to people because, you know, if, if you are not communicating effectively because someone is not listening, then again, detach and pass that responsibility onto an outside third party so that, you know, so that that emotional responsibility is taken away from you just to, to just to bring that stress level down. Now, Saturday, we have a sat the moon moves into Sag. So we're going to have a little bit more of an understanding. Maybe, you know, there's a little bit more of a, a lighter vibe, obviously. You know, it could, the understanding, we just have it at a higher level. You know, we, you could just go for adventures. If, you know, if you're still in a stressful, stressful place, get outside into nature and, you know, go for a walk. Lots of lots of breathing this week. Okay, so and Sunday we also have the Sag Moon. Maybe you can sit in a quiet place and imagine a better future. You know, if you do need to go for adventures, then go for adventures. But by Saturday, this you know, I think this intensity is going to die down. It's definitely going to be more of a hump Wednesday to Friday. <clears throat> so, oh, so with that, thank you for joining me. Jupiter. There we go. It's Ju <laughs> Thank you, Jupiter. So if you would like a private reading from me, you can find me at lifefromthegroundup.com.au or come and join my private Facebook group where I do daily astro and that is lifetime to level up and just join, click, answer the questions, blah, blah, blah. So until next week, thank you for joining me and I will see you next week.